The Political Action Committee Vote From Home was the brainchild of some American grad students studying at Oxford University in England. They recently rented a house in Columbus and worked to get out the vote in Ohio for the 2008 presidential election. The group's website lists no previous ties to the state for most of the volunteers. However, Palestra.net found that a number of them registered, and in some cases cast ballots, using the address at that rented house. Now the Franklin County prosecutor is looking at the possibility of filing criminal charges. The Board of Elections this morning referred to us, uh, I think in large part because of the reporting you've done on this uh, matter, uh, 13 registrations at uh, 2885 Brownlee here in Columbus, uh, where two of the people have already cast ballots and a number of others have requested absentee ballots be mailed to them and in fact a number have been mailed. The issue is whether these volunteers are legally Ohio residents and therefore allowed to vote in this key swing state. Temporary uh, visits or a temporary uh, resident uh, of Ohio is not entitled either by short-term employment or by uh, volunteerism or visitation entitled to consider themselves a resident in order to vote here in the state of Ohio. Uh, that's uh, in black and white in the Ohio Revised Code. It's uh, in directives from the Secretary of State. It's on the Secretary of State's website. No one should come into Ohio and think they can be here for several weeks or even a month uh, volunteering or working on uh, a project and not have the intention of returning, uh, not have the intention of making this a permanent resident, yet register and vote here. That's simply not permitted, and I think that's why the Board of Elections asked us to look into this. Today, Palestra.net reached out to vote from home via email, but no on-the-record response was received. We will continue to pursue their side of the story. Now, it is important to note that no criminal charges have yet been filed, and the prosecutor is still investigating the case. Keep checking back to Palestra.net for updates in this developing story. In Columbus, Ohio, I'm Shelby Holiday for Palestra.net, the college network.